Genesis 1.22 God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number, and f fill the water of the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. So that's new international version, new living translation, says so be fruitful and multiply. English standard, multiply. Most of these multiply, increase, multiply, mean the exact same thing. So to all the, so if you ever account someone say, the Bible gets changed so much, there's so many translations, and they all say vastly different, that's just not true. It's just the different translations. It's just more than one way you can tr translate some words from one language to another. Which help people understand some things better. Because some people just thought you want to... <clears throat> Understanding the meaning, the same behind it. There are translations that will help you with that. You want to know exactly what they said. There's translations that will help you with that. Mike Wiener has done videos on translation. A lot of people have done translations. <clears throat> multiply, uh, be fruitful, and multiply. Amplify, doesn't really add in brackets. Be fruitful. Increase and multiply. Barons. Septuagint translation. Huh. Then he... Contemporary English, English version. Then he gave the living creatures his blessing. He told the ocean creatures to increase and live everywhere in the ocean and the birds to increase everywhere on earth. Interesting. But as you can see, it says the exact same thing. You can come to the exact same understanding. <clears throat> Why the different translations? Just because that's a possible way to translate the Hebrew. So someone did. For a specific purpose. Anyway, yes. Be fertile. And multiply new American Bible. I fill the waters of the sea and let the birds multiply on the earth. <clears throat> yes. Ellie caught beef, roof and multiply. This blessing bestows that the earth was replenished with animals, animal life, from a limited number of protogenitors. And probably from a small number of creditations. Center creditations? Anyway. Both for the flora and for the fauna. <coughs> Center. Yes. <coughs> what do we have? The Cambrian boom? And yes, when I bring up the Caribbean boom, atheists will screech, No, that has nothing to do with the... Oh, well, okay, sure, whatever. Anyway. But yes, multiplying, making more of your species, is a divine commandment. <laughs> Does that make any way... Doing this correct? No. How you accomplish it does matter. For humans, especially. We don't look for. We don't. Oh, the animals are doing. Also do these things. Doesn't mean they're good. And Mike Wiener has an entire video on that. Anyway, let's. Pulpit's commentary. And God bless them to bless. Bless is to wish well. In the case of God blessing the inanimate things, it signifies to make them to prosper and be abundant. 
the nature of the blessing pronounced upon the animal creation had reference to their primogenition and increase, be fruitful and multiply, fill the water. Yeah, okay. The prosigmatic conversation, be fruitful and multiply, became a regular for, for, formula of blessing in Genesis 24. 60, Genesis 35, verse 11, Genesis 48, verse 4, and Genesis 1, or no, Genesis, Psalms 128, verse 3 and 4. The divine benediction was not simply a wish, but as Kelvin, but as Kelvin, by the bare imagination of his purpose, purpose, he affects what men seek by eternity. Okay. By nor was it meaningless that the words of benefication were uh, addressed to the creatures. <clears throat> it was discarded to teach discreet to teach that the force of the divine word was not meant to be transcendent, but being infused in their natures to take root and constantly bear fruit. Kelvin, uh, again. Okay. Blessed. To kneel, to bless God, man, or curse? To curse. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Um, okay. Unmistakable mark of an accusative action. Be fruitful to bear fruit. Be fruitful. And multiply to become much, many, or greater. Fill to fill or to be filled. Seas. The seas. A sea. The Mediterranean Sea. Large river and under. And an artificial basin. Birds, flying creatures, multiply, become, to become, to be or become much. Yeah, yeah. The earth. And push. A new international version. There was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. That is the fifth day. Everything is over. Upon the work of the first four days, geology is virtually silent. Okay, Elliot. Elcott. And the series respecting the physical formation of the world belong to another science. To other sciences. Yes. <coughs> But as regards to the fifth day, its testimony is ample. In the lowest strata of rock, such as the Cambrian and Silurian, we find marine animals, mollusca, and trilobites. Higher up in the Devrian rocks, we find fish in the Cabernistus period. Did we find reptiles and above these in the Permian? We m those mighty stratuses describe in our vision as great whales. Traces of birds, even in these higher strata, if existent at all, are rare, but abundantly occur in the Triassic series. We thus learn that this fifth day covers a vast space of time. So, Alicot, he does not take that the days were literal. Because he just said this fifth day covers a vast space of time. He's not a young earth creationist. And in accordance with what has been urged before 
As regards to vegetation, it is probable that the introduction of the various genera and species was gradual. God does nothing in haste, and our comprehensions of his marvelous works are made more clear and worthy of his greatness by the evidence which geology, I'm trying to combine geography and geology into one word, apparently, uh, affords. So he accepts the entire science narrative. I know for some atheists, like Christians, accept the science narrative? Yeah, I know. They do, they do. It's lied to. Anyway, a lot more on it, Inspired Philosophy does stuff. And then there's something to by the world. If, okay, pulpit does he have a different view? If, of the previous creative days, geology goal science has only doubtful traces. I mean, yeah, geology doesn't really cover that what much the sun, moon, the creation of the sun, moons, let alone the stars, earth, Water, sky. Well, I guess it kind of doesn't. Some of those now, but the creation of the stars, moon, the moon, and the sun, and the whole universe—that's astronomy, not astro. And I, I thought definitely not astrology. Of this, it bears in irrefutable witness. Irrefutable. Oh, she said that. When the first animal life was introduced upon our globe, may be said to be as yet sub justice. <coughs> Principal Dawson inclines to to claim for the gigantic former for farmer for I don't know, fermenter? Ozone cat of the lens. Of the Lutherian rocks, in the honor of being one of the first aquatic creatures. Oh, that, I that that with a creature. Oh, of course it was hard to pronounce. That swam, swarm the terrestrial waters. Let's see, what is it? No, come on. There. Let's see. There, there's the shell. Why is it so blurry? Focus, you stupid camera. Focus. What the? Oh, it is purple. Oh, that is a mess. Never mind. There's no fixing it. So these things. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Though Professor Hullux believes that the earliest life is not represented by the oldest rock fo known fossils in Kukrit and addresses nine one eight nine yeah nine eighteen seventy three okay but rather the then or at some point of time a tar introduced geology can trace it upward through the paleozoic and mesozoic eras with the result that is here so exactly defined though the long ages that fill the interval between the azotic period of our earth's history and that which witnessed the appearance of the higher animal she is able to detect an unbroken 
success of aquatic life rising gradually from lower to higher forms. Hmm, lower to higher forms. Gee, I wonder what he's talking about there. Hmm, from the trilobites and mollusk of the Cabrian and Solution systems up through the Ganoid fishes of the Deovian and, and the amphibians of the Carbon Frasis. Oh, come on, people. Who came up with these names? Do the Sutran reptiles of the premium periods. I don't even care if I'm mispronouncing them. I don't. At this point, certain ornithographic tacks in the super intermittent cumbrant terrestrial strata reveals the introduction of upper upon the sense of wedge creatures wing creatures. And this and with this assertion is the strength and the value and volume stem from of the life flows till the higher animals appear. Such geology confirms the scripture record then there's a Y here for some reason. Attesting. The priority of marine animals and bird and land animals of land to animals. The existence of a period when the great sea monsters with the smaller aquatic tribes and winged fowls flew in the air were soul living were the sole living creatures on the globe and that precisely as Elohim designed, life has continued in unbroken succession since the first of its introduction. Okay. First, great, the great sea monsters, then the creepers, and then the birds, but first the small... Oh yeah, creation was not first the great sea monsters, then the creepers, and the birds, but first the smaller aquatic tribes, then the monsters of the deep, and finally the winged creatures of the air. However, this is not to contradict, but to... Elucurated the word of God. Okay. Yeah. Fifth. What? Literally fifth. A fifth. Yeah. So. Christian week. Almost over.